Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the show. So today I'm Sylvia and I'm here with Veronique. Hi, Veronique. Hello, everyone. <laughs> and we have a special guest. Uh, she's Brazilian like me, so it makes it ex extra special. <laughs> and she's an image stylist designer, uh, consultant, I'm sorry, but designer yes. as well, right? Kind of consultant. Mm -hmm. Consultant, yeah. And she's Lilian Oliveira, my friend as well, Brazilian friend. How are you, Lilian? <laughs> Hello, Veronique. Hello, Sylvia. I'm good. I'm so Hi, excited Lilian. to be here. So excited mm -hmm. to be here with you both. Doing great. Yeah. yeah, I can't wait. So because Lillian works with uh, helping women uh, dressing appropriately, you know, you know, to different occasions. So like if it's for work, right? If it's to go out, like a special occasion. So we are going to mm -hmm. talk all about fashion today. And my first Love question it. is, uh, so what made you choose this business or like kind of like get totally into the fashion world? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I will start um, by sharing a little bit about, I, I wanted to reflect on my own style journey. So reflecting mm -hmm. on my own experience, I realized that I... You know, if I tell you that I've always had a sense for style and I knew how to dress for my body, the type or my body nuances, I would not, I, I would be lying, right? So mm -hmm. uh, I've, I haven't always had the confidence on how to dress for myself or how to feel confident, co feel confidence, confident in the way I dress mm -hmm. um, because it's style. It's not only about fashion, it's how we feel yeah. when you put clothes on. Mm -hmm. And yeah. even yeah. though I did not have the confidence, I, you know, I, I knew that there was this essential truth that when I did not uh, feel good about I was, <clears throat> what I was wearing, that affected my confidence level that affected my self self esteem so mm -hmm. with that being said with my own experience just by just by realizing that i that is sparked a this experience is sparked a passion within me mm -hmm. you know to enter uh, the style and consulting world, world because I wanted to help other women to feel confident when mm -hmm. when they dress. Um, I think I think every every woman deserves to feel empowered and confident in their own skin, right? And that can be in any area of their life. So I'm bringing mm -hmm. into clothes, I'm bringing into style um, as this area because it does make a big difference sometimes we don't even realize it but it yeah. does yeah yeah you know what you said it's just it's so true about like feeling comfortable wearing it's not about like what is in uh, what is fashion right now but just like you feel comfortable and seek like confident and secure about what you're wearing because i remember one time i bought a dress it was in brazil still and it, uh, it was carnival time and i remember like i put that dress on it was too short for me, too tight. It wasn't <laughs> really like what I wear usually. And I went out and I like, I walked for five minutes and then I told my friend, you know what? I'm going to go back and change. Yeah. And yeah. My friend said, I knew it, Sylvia. <laughs> I know it's not, you don't dress like this. <laughs> go back and change. So yeah, it doesn't matter. Like if everybody else is wearing it, if it's not, you don't feel good, you're not going to yeah. do it. You shouldn't do it. Yeah. yeah. And, and that can actually change your interaction with others. Because mm. you may feel you may feel mm. upset inside for some reason that you may not even know, and um, you just don't feel you didn't feel yourself, right? In this example, you did mm -hmm. not feel yourself. Yeah, yeah. So with that in mind, what do you think that women should have like before they start shopping or thinking about buying clothes? What what type of a mindset should they be to kind of like? decide what is best for their body type and, you know, like a, a few tips that you have regarding um, that. Yeah. I, I think this question is, it's a good timing right now because mm -hmm. Black Friday is coming oh, up yeah. soon. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. Right. And mm -hmm. then we think about, oh, I want this, I need this, or this is on sale, this is a good on deal. Sale. Mm -hmm. So 
Um, fourth thing you mentioned, body type. I think we should ask, does this complement my body, right? Because what may look good at Veronique or you, Sylvia, or you, Veronique, it, it may not go look good on my body type. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you see something on the mannequin and the store or when you, if you're browsing online, it looks good on the model. Mm -hmm. And then you buy it, you try it on. It doesn't, it, it may not complement your body, but, you know, deep inside, but you're still thinking, oh, it, look, it looked good when I saw um, the mannequin of the store, right? Yeah. And then we start blaming our body, which is not the case. It's the clothes. It's not us. So okay. Mm. So this this is the one. first. Yeah. It's, <laughs> sometimes it's the clothes. Mm. And so body um, does it um, fit your? Does it complement your your body? And then always look at the quality and the finish, mm. right? Yeah. So. Buying online sometimes can be misleading because of the photos, but, you know, we can yeah. always do what we can, zoom in, um, always look at the fabric composition. Uh, you know, if mm. you are at the store, you can just grab the tag and look at the fabric composition. Yeah. Um, if you are online, always look for whatever in the description you mentioned. Mm -hmm. It's usually under fabric and care. Um, mm -hmm. And then it will list um, the composition. And if, if you're shopping online, my advice would be always look at the uh, return policy because try it on at home. If it doesn't work, you know, if if the return policy allows um, returns, then uh, if it didn't work for you, you can return. Yeah. Um, another one I want to mention: We mm -hmm. why actually wear we why wear this <clears throat> right? Like your 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 um, Sylvia, the uh, the dress that you just yeah. mentioned, why right? you grab it and it's an impulse buying, but then mm -hmm. think about it: we why it, wear it, or it's just a trend, yeah, that yeah, fit the style. Mm -hmm. uh, and the last, oh, and one more, like I mentioned, big sales. You know, am I buying mm -hmm. just because it's on sale? It, yeah. something that can be a good price deal. Doesn't mean it's a good deal in my closet. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah, it can be not even your style, but you're just buying it because it's on sale, or you know, yeah, you can't buy it, but then you're never gonna wear it. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, hey, I've been there, so <laughs> yeah, I think many of us have been there. Yeah. So something you said about material. What should we look for? Uh, because you said be careful what what um, the clothes are made of. Is that something we have to look for? Like, oh, no, I don't want that. Some yeah, kind of material? You know, yeah, good question. <clears throat> um, let's say that if you look, if you if you look it up online, let's say <clears throat> you Google, you want a linen, linen shorts. And mm. then you Google linen shorts. And then you see the, um, what, the items that will appear in your search results. And then you're going to click, okay, this is linen, and it looks like linen. Sometimes it's being advertised as linen. Uh, but when you look at the composition, it mm -hmm. may be polyester. Polyester mm -hmm. is uh, a synthetic uh, fiber. Yeah. I mean, it, it, comes from, it's, it, comes, it comes from petroleum, right? So they will, if you, you're buying something thinking it's linen, which... Linen is a natural fiber, which is yeah. perfect for summer. Yeah, um, love it. Yeah. It's a breathable fabric. But then you buy one that looks like linen. You, you could have seen at the store. <laughs> oh, wow, mm -hmm. this is linen shorts or linen shirts. And you're going to think, wow, I'm going to feel cool. I'm going to feel, you know, I won't feel too hot during the summer. But then yeah. it's polyester that is... Um, Mimicking, so to speak. Okay. That okay. Other paper. So be careful about the advertising. Just check, always check uh, the always composition. Check. All right. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So uh, my next question would be: uh, So what do you, you get your uh, inspiration when you, you choose an outfit for yourself or for your clients? Is there something in particular that you really inspires you? Yeah. Um, the inspiration for me that would be my style what the image that i want to convey okay Be um 
and of course what what works well for my for my body because mm -hmm. when we it's great to have inspirations however um however if we are inspired by let's say an influencer something fits well on them and then i'm always inspired by that specific influence but then i keep buying 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 and it doesn't work for me um no. it doesn't it may not work for me so for clients i will what will um for clients it will be their image goals what are their, their goals do they want to have a more cohesive wardrobe? Do they want to mix and match more? Do they want to learn how to dress for work? But what's mm -hmm. their job? So what are their challenge? What are their challenges? Mm -hmm. What their what style are they are do they want to be more assertive or do they want to look? Do they want to look more assertive? Do they want to be more practical when they dress? Mm -hmm. Do they want to look more feminine, right? So based on those specific nuances, then I, I work, I will personalize the way I work with them. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So we already know that you're Brazilian. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> do, do, do you have like Brazilian influences also? When it comes to your own fashion style, do you like Gosh. to shop in Brazil? Because Sylvia has another friend and she only shop in Brazil, by the way. She yes. never shops here. She only shops in yeah. Brazil. So what about you? <laughs> and that's so funny because when we have, sometimes when I have family or friends, they want to shop here. <laughs> so, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. She um, only shops there. <laughs> I... I like, I, I definitely do. I, I, have a, I, I, I have a mix of items that I, I will purchase here. And I, I'm always checking, I'm always checking, you know, what's, you know, I, over, I think over the pandemic, a lot of more merchants um, shifted their business online, which will make it easier mm -hmm. for us who don't live there or even, mm -hmm. for, or even yeah. you know, people that live there um, to find the items. And I, I every time I go to Brazil, I I do look at. I really like, particularly, I like accessories, Brazilian oh, accessories. Yes. Mm -hmm. I find some things there that I may not necessarily find here. Um, I'm actually wearing uh, the next one I'm wearing today. I I just, it's from Brazil, and yeah. I really like it. It it's is nice. yes. This Beautiful. one is um, <laughs> it's a. Uh, Two tone. It's, it's a gold. It's a gold twisted link, mm -hmm. linked to a solid link. Uh, <laughs> so it's a silver and gold uh, metals mix. Oh. And yeah, it just, beautiful. It, it just felt unique, and um, I didn't see. I mean, I'm sure I can find something similar here. But when I looked at this one online, it really resonated with me with my style just something fun with textures different textures uh mm -hmm. different so different feelings different sensations right if i wear something that it's just a regular solid link um okay. also shoes i always i look for shoes but again we always have to i always keep in mind do i really need it right because then we get excited <laughs> we always need shoes <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> I don't want to wear it, right? Always keep that in mind. Um, <laughs> so I did. I did get a few shoes. My mom was here over the summer, and I ordered a few shoes online. And I've been wearing them a lot. Mm -hmm. um, summer, summer sandals. So okay. I'm always, yeah. always looking and um, finding interest, interesting items. Yeah, Good. I think the prints there are different too from here, right? Like the the prints, right? Yeah. And good, have... good, good, good call out. The prints also, speaking of prints, uh, beachwear, come on, we have so many oh, options yes. to choose from mm -hmm. in Brazil. Uh, yeah. A lot of like tropical prints. Yeah. Um, a lot of tropical prints and the, the prints are fun too. The, uh, what we wear on the beach, the cover up, the sarong, uh, mm -hmm. the kanga. Yeah. Um, right. I mean, it's that's not the very popular here, and I always wear mine. Mm. It's so light. Um, we can wear it as a cover up, and also to just lay out 
on the on the swimming pool chair or on the beach. Yeah, maybe it doesn't shrink because I have one that it doesn't shrink. <laughs> it's still, like, you put it in. It, the... it, it lasts. It lasts a long time mm-hmm. too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it does. Uh, so about comfortable clothes, like for women who likes to wear very comfortable clothes, uh, how do they, can they do that without looking like, you know, like sloppy or like, you know, it's just like wearing pajamas, you know, you're still yeah. wearing something comfortable. What is it kind of like, I uh, just one tip that you have for women. Pajamas. <laughs> no, no. Leggings. The first, the the safe first suggest- <laughs> pajamas. Yoga pants. The first, the first suggestion <laughs> is get out of the pajamas. Yeah. Right? Yes. Because thank you. <laughs> you, God. you, if you wear pajamas all day and you're working at home wearing pajamas, you may perceive yourself differently. <laughs> right? You, you're still going to be in that lazy mode, and sometimes true. we don't even, we don't, we don't, we don't even realize it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. So yeah. there are a lot of casual um casual uh, items you know shoes and and clothing items that you can wear without being in your pajamas um <laughs> you know i would say look at fabric like you know cotton is such a great fabric it's comfortable it's soft um you can pair with a uh, with let's say for me i like the mom jeans style you know it's not tight it's not oh, yeah. too loose. Mm-hmm. it works for me uh high waist for me works great it's comfortable um for a basic st- basic style if you have um a more more um basic style i would say a key piece would be for me it is uh like a white sneakers or a beige sneakers mm-hmm. because the beige sneakers goes with everything um the white it's you know it's a bright color but it's, it's such a staple yeah. of my wardrobe um and of many who have um the basic style yeah right just like and those sweatpants uh, mm-hmm. are they in fashion still like you know this large like you know loose sweatpants <laughs> Just... me on the butt. Yeah, the Victoria's Secret side for me. Victoria's yeah. Secret. No. Kiss me. No. No. You 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 can look for you can look for other comfortable pants. Uh you know, like linen pants or their oh, other yeah. pants. Mm-hmm. Rayon or viscose. They are yeah. they, they are, are nice, soft. yeah. They are soft and they will be comfortable. You don't have to be wearing jeans or slacks. Um, but even like even slacks, you can you can because when we when we hear the word slacks, what do you think? <clears throat> Going to work. Yeah, and something mm-hmm. formal and serious, right? Mm-hmm. But think about you have a slacks, not necessarily like the, it can be um, a little narrow on the ankle. Um, but think about a pair of slacks, and then you pair with white sneakers and a denim jacket and a cotton t-shirt right mm-hmm. you, you no longer have that serious look mm-hmm. you, yeah. know, you have True. a little bit of the elegant style because you have that structured pants um but again make sure those pants are comfortable yeah. um are comfortable so you can you can feel comfortable yeah but yeah, yeah. comfort mm-hmm. doesn't mean only pajamas right yeah <laughs> sorry it and doesn't flip-flops. <laughs> yeah <laughs> And hugs. Don't forget your hugs. The hugs. <laughs> In pajamas. <laughs> pajamas for bedtime. Yeah, or a lazy exactly. morning on a Sunday. Lazy morning on a Sunday, <laughs> but not all day. Um, we we deserve yeah. better than that, right? We deserve better than that. Yes, good point. Yeah. We do. <laughs> for sure. All right, Ernie, um, you have another question? Uh, yeah, uh, and... Because we're talking about pyjama and other things. So where do you like to shop? Where's your favorite place to shop? Not for pyjama, of course, but everything else. <laughs> but, 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 but pyjamas, pyjamas are important too. I know. To go to bed. <laughs> um, what I was saying, uh, what was the example? Well, I, was just, I was sharing an example about the linen, linen short. Like, let's say, so a place I like to shop. I usually, I if I'm, 
if I need something specific, I have something specific in mind. If I'm shopping online, I will throw in, I will do a Google sh- uh, search to look, mm-hmm. right? So mm-hmm. it may be, I may find that in a department store, it doesn't matter. So I will find, I'll look for those items and look at the quality as you know as you can when you shop online look at description and um and then i'll make my my choice i we i just had a uh, branding photo shoot a couple months ago i was very excited about and i was <clears throat> defining the clothes that i wanted to wear on the photo shoot day mm-hmm. i needed a um I needed a, I really wanted a pair of gold sandals. I had something specific in mind. I didn't mm. find necessarily the same style that I wanted, but I was very happy with my purchase. So I I was looking for more like an almond toe shape, which would be the toe shape would be like an almond shape. And uh, gold, I wanted low heel because I don't know you, ladies, no, I'm but I, I'm done. <laughs> with I the am high heels. done. Those days are gone. I am done. I agree. Not all Sad, the way. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, the platform, if I have to go out, but the heels, no, no. May- yeah, so on, I maybe on boots. Sometimes on boots, you know, you can have some heels. But the yeah. shoes, no. Mm-mm. I like like low heel, so I specifically <clears throat> searched gold sandals, low heel, and I was looking for something like two or two and a half inch mm-hmm. um, height heel. Mm-hmm. So I just did my search, and then a lot of brands came up. I ended mm-hmm. up finding that in a um, where did they bought that? It was a Bloomingdale's a department store. And the brand I like, I, I didn't necessarily search at that department store, I didn't necessarily search for that brand, but I was mm-hmm. really happy with that that um, that listing after I found. So the brand, the Sandal brand was Sam Edelman brand. Mm-hmm. And I was very happy with, with my search. So with my purchase, I wore it, already wore it even after the photo shoot. So I would say, um, going online or if you're at the store a department store we have stores we have several options um now if um if you have energy and time you can also <laughs> find great quality pieces at consignment stores um mm, but again yeah. Yeah. you will take you will take some energy and time mm-hmm. The only caveat, and I, I, I have uh, pieces from consignment stores that I wear a lot. Uh, the only caveat here is don't buy just because it's inexpensive. Right? Oh, yeah. Because then you get excited because it's inexpensive. And then <laughs> you just don't want to bring more stuff and useless energy, so to speak. In your, mm-hmm. into your closet and into your life, right? Yeah. Because you may end up not wearing. You know what I found that they said beautiful shoes every time I go online and I bought some from them is uh, Anthropology. You know that store? Anthropology? Yeah. Yeah. You shop mm-hmm. there? They have um, so many beautiful shoes and a lot from Europe also, from Spain and Portugal. And they have a lot of good good quality when I buy, I buy uh, yeah, the shoes. I there. Never... Yeah. Very good quality. They do really? have, like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, Could I never um, don't but... own. Yeah, I don't own uh, shoes um, from there. But if even if it's it's uh, the price point is a little higher, mm-hmm. it it may be more worth it, right? Because then it will last longer yeah. than you buy purchase a pair of shoes right now that you only able to wear in one season. Let's say you buy a pair of boots, um, and the quality is low. Yeah, it's a synthetic, uh, fabric, synthetic material, and you may wear a lot in one season. Then the next season, they're going to be peeling off, you know, mm-hmm. the leather because it's not real leather. And then yeah. again, it's it's disposable. Yes, it becomes disposable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, especially with I uh, think boots, you really need to be smart when you shop because it's just for that season, right? Like. The winter season, yeah. like fall, mm-hmm. winter. 
And yeah, yeah like I like, actually should buy, I'm looking forward to buy another pair, but I think it's so like overwhelming too. Like all the options, like do I, do I get the long ones that, you know, the long, how do you call it? Instead of the short yeah. uh, ankle yeah. or like the, mm -hmm. the high or, yeah, or the high yeah. ones. Mm -hmm. It's uh, so how do you help women with that actually with this? Yeah. Choosing like how like your work is uh, so you're gonna again what you said actually like you help them like you understand what is their taste or what they feel comfortable with but like if I wanted to buy like a pair of boots now you'd say what is more uh, in trend and if it's for like long legs and things like that does it matter yeah so it will depend on where do you want like do you want like you were talking about heels right what would be your mm -hmm. style do you want something more comfortable i my goal is to make how happy women my goal is to make them feel confident and understand what works for them like and how how we can attain it how i can attain, attain how we can attain um helping with their challenges um mm -hmm. we identifying their style, you know, identifying, doing uh, body type analysis, uh, the closet assessment. Uh, when I do a closet assess assessment, it comes with a shopping list and mm -hmm. uh, that will fit their needs, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, their needs are also based on budget. Um, oh, yeah. Important. Also, mm -hmm. yeah, I will also help them understanding how they can multiply their outfit options, how we can mix and match what they already have. Yeah, because so it is so hard to do that. <laughs> I think it's super hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you yeah, you know, sometimes we have um we have a piece that we only know how to wear, let's say a blouse, but I only know how to wear the blouse with those specific pants. Right, and yeah. then you mm -hmm. end up only wear the blouse with those pants, so <laughs> it becomes like like a uniform, right? I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's easy because you already knew, we already know it works, um, mm -hmm. but you are not expanding your outfit options. It's it becomes very very limited. Mm. And do you help also with the whole like accessories, like earring and like jewelries and shoes, yes. so everything you do, the yes. the the clothes and also the shoes and the accessories and accessories. And accessories, yes. Okay. Um, I had uh, recently a um a consulting with a woman who hired me, and uh, we are defining this her style and also identifying her body type. And I, I know, so her style has a lot of the feminine and romantic, but she doesn't want to be, she doesn't want to have that little girl look, you know, just by wearing <laughs> all florals, all pink, yeah. uh, or like pearls, right? So, but I, I, I told her, I already have in mind accessories that you can bring accessories that are more like romantic and mm -hmm. feminine and then she can bring that element into um into her outfit without okay. being all 100 percent looking feminine and romantic yeah that's, that's good. so good because it's, it's it must it's very helpful you know it's so hard to pick the right accessories and like yeah. belts i think belts are very tricky know yeah. how to wear belts when to wear what type of belts oh. i have i have a post on my instagram by the way that talks about belts <laughs> oh yes okay. oh, oh. I, don't, I don't even think i have belts Go check it out yes. I mean. yeah because it's so hard i'm like i always like i always have questions about that I'm like am i yeah. doing yeah. this right and i end up just going without a belt because i'm like i yeah. don't want to risk you know so yeah 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 I'm gonna so check that out can, so people can find you on instagram if they need your service your services yes yes um i post a lot of uh, helpful content uh for women on my, my mm -hmm. instagram um mm -hmm. you know i focus on empowerment on how they can you know feel their best um and uh it's, it's all about self-discovery too right when we learn about our style when we mm -hmm. learn about ourselves when we learn about our own essence and i think it's style it's 
it's from inside to the outside. Like, like I shared in the beginning, it's not only about clothes, it's about how we feel. Yeah. So I always mm-hmm. touch upon these, these points, um, yeah, on my posts and stories on my Instagram. Um, okay. so What's yeah. your Instagram? For people Lily, who are listening? Lily Kali, L-I-L-I-C-A-L-I. Okay, great. Yeah, I'm going to add it to the show notes. And no. do you have a website or a link? to like uh, see if they want to contact for your services yes the, i have yeah. the link on the on the bio okay. on my bio on my attached yeah on my on my instagram okay and there is mm-hmm. a, um, yeah they can people can reach out directly if they're interested okay yeah oh, well, you're gonna add that as well mm-hmm Thank you, Lillian. Right. Do you have Thank any other questions, Lillian? I don't know. Do you no, have no, questions? I'm oh, good. good. Yeah, I think, yeah, I've covered a lot. Thank you so much. It was great. Yeah. Oh, very informative. Very Such interesting. Yeah. yeah, I learned some stuff I didn't know. So thank you very much for that. Yes. <laughs> great. That's, that's great. It was such mm-hmm. a pleasure to um, talk to you both. Today. Yeah. Uh, thank yeah, you. we can do it more, uh, more uh, another time as well. You know, like there's always, yes. there's always something to talk about fashion. Different yes. seasons. Mm-hmm. Different yes. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Thank you. Sounds great. Thank Bye, you. Guys. Have a great day. Bye. Bye, Bye. guys. See you next time.